So far in this course, we've been building really simple applications. They all have an index.php and run in the browser. A component, sometimes called a package interchangeably, does not run in the browser, but is used by an application or another component. That means we need to approach them slightly differently, but they're still quite similar. Let's have a go at making a really basic component with a simple structure. Then we can look at how we write classes and how we check to see if they work while we build them. First, we'll need an SRC folder, which is where all of our code will live. Inside there, we're going to create a single class called example.php. This is a drastically simplified version of a component, and your component will probably have a lot more classes to it. But for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to have the one. Let's throw some code in here. Let's save that out. Here, we're putting our code inside a namespace, treehouse slash example. And inside here, we're defining a class also called example. This repetition is quite common. Many packages will have one main class to interact with, and this can be the same name as the component itself. Finally, on line 7, we're defining a method named get something, and we're just returning a static string for the sake of simplicity at this point. So far, we've been checking our code works by running it in the browser. Unlike with an application, we don't have an index.php for this component, and to be honest, we don't want or need one. It would be much more useful if we used unit tests, instead of hacking together some browser code and manually checking things work okay. Unit testing is a huge subject, which is covered well by other courses, but we can certainly cover the basics here. First, let's install PHP unit as a dev dependency. Once again, we can use composer require PHP unit, which is the name of the vendor and the name of the package itself. And then because this is a dev dependency, remember we don't want to have to force people to install PHP unit on their production servers. We're going to run hyphen hyphen dev. And the version constraint is 4.2. wildcard because I know that 4.2 at the moment is the latest version. So there we can see it's created a composer.json for us and it's installed all of PHP Unit's dependencies itself and PHP Unit 4.2.5. Perfect. At this point, we have the very early stages of a composer package. If we're going to think about releasing this code, there are a few other things we should think about first. Next, let's look at some standards to improve the quality of our code. 